a secret hidden location in the Peak District. Very few people know about this. morning. Well for now the weather's dry and the sun was shining but I don't think it's going to last. So this is a part of the Peak District I know very very well. I've walked it many times. Um, I don't have a fixed route for today. I do have a few objectives um, and I'm probably going to incorporate in a few spots which may be of interest to viewers so keep watching so this path here takes you up uh, well actually it splits so you can turn right and you'll get up to green stitches um, or you can just keep going straight and you'll walk along the side of Abbey Clough this is the very bottom of Abbey Brook. Howden Dam is literally just over there in the trees. But at this point, we're gonna turn off the side road, the access road, and we're gonna go up here. So this track is a very steep track going up Hay Bank, up towards Nether Hay. Uh, I've just had a weather alert uh, for thunderstorms uh, from about 11 o'clock. It's approximately half past nine now. So <laughs> by the time it's 11 o'clock, I will be <laughs> quite high up, probably, uh, with very little shelter. So... We'll have to see how that works out. So that's the direction I've just come from. You can in the distance see Loose Hill and Back Tour. That's um, Abbey Clough going up there. Over there we have the high stones. Path I'm on. Curves around a little bit and then goes up there. Nice view towards the waterfalls on Abbey Clough. So there we have Abbey Clough with its main waterfalls just there. Where I am right now is kind of the catchment area that leads into a side clough called Gravy Clough, which flows pretty steeply down into Abbey Clough. But there is something of interest near the top of Gravy Clough. Um, so that's where we're gonna check out next. Last time I came from that direction over there. And I think I must have come down in the clough because the clough um, divides so I think I came down on the other part of the clough so I can see my destination well here we have another one of my favorite 
secret spots in the Peak District. It is a bit difficult to get to. This is only my second time getting here. Uh, there are, there must be, there definitely are easier ways of getting here. Um, last time I came here, I came from over that direction where there is another uh, ruined shooting cabin, but there's, there's nothing left of the other one. Uh, it's really not worth revisiting. It's just uh, a few rocks on the ground. But this one is pretty intact. Now, someone has definitely been here since I was last here. Last time I was here, there was a tree growing from, in the middle of it. Someone has made some kind of seat. So yeah, someone has been here clearly. Uh, but it's a pretty cool spot. It's not very well known at all. So this is the Gravy Clough Shooting Cabin Ruin. Well, I've put my waterproofs on because it looks like this rain is setting in. And honestly, I don't know where to go now. Um, this was further down than I remembered. My original plan was to come down and then go back up again and then go along the tops to my next destination. I can take this path here um, I, I took this, that path there, last time I was here. Um, but I, I think I came off the path and I went down into Abbey Brook around about the point where the waterfalls are. Um, and I don't remember where the path actually goes. It's not marked on the map. Uh, there is a little bit of a trail here, which is probably just a sheep trod. I've no idea where this goes. I may explore a little bit along here because I haven't done that before. Um, Gravy Clough, as I mentioned before, it's, it's very steep and it goes down into um, Abbey Brook and there's a few waterfalls they look pretty good, but you you can't really see them from where I'm stood right now. Um, last time I was here, I went down to that point there on the bank and tried to get a look, but you couldn't see from that angle either. Um, it's, it was too steep. It was too directly below. So I might follow this path along and see if I can see... Um, those waterfalls and also just to see where this path goes. Okay, well, let me tell you what my plan was. My plan was to go all the way um, along that path to Barrister's Tour and then come off the path and get above, directly above the top of Barrister's Tour to see the views down into Abbey Clough. That's Barrister's Tour is just beyond where the main waterfalls are, are on Abbey Clough. Now I did do that once before, um, <laughs> but it was a really foggy day and I couldn't see a thing. Uh, I got there, but I literally couldn't see anything at all. But right now, I am very tempted to follow this path at least a little bit and see where it goes and see what views you can you can get into Gravy Clough and to those waterfalls. Yeah, so this path, um, I think it ends up just running parallel to the path that I took up Netherhay and probably joins it at some point. 
it's come away from the edge of Gravy Clough so you can't see the waterfalls. There's a pretty cool view towards or up Abbey Clough though. I think I'm just going to wander off over there and see what I can see. Um, now the the other side the path does go up headed in the direction I've wanted to go in so I think last time I came off the path and I went that way into Abbey Clough itself but the path does seem to go directly up back to the top and that's pretty much where I want to go if I am going to get up to Barrister's Tour which is that tour over there uh, so I may well do that but I'm just going to have a look over here first and see what views there are if any yeah it's a pretty steep drop don't want to get too close to the edge I don't think from this angle I'm going to be able to see the waterfalls. Oh, wow, look at that though. facing back up Gravy Clough now. Uh, around about there are the remains of the other shooting cabin or shooting cabins. It looks like two separate buildings um, but there's virtually nothing left and it's not particularly worth another visit. I went there the last time I was here. Um, so it's 11.30 I've decided to stop and have my lunch um, simply because I've got some comfort and shelter here somewhere to sit down the rain has eased off for the minute I think if I was to keep walking I would be going up onto the tops I'll be a lot more exposed there's not going to be such a good place to stop and have lunch and when it starts raining again and maybe even thundering I'm going to be very exposed so I'm going to stop and have lunch here. I just had a very quick lunch mainly because I was being eaten alive by midges views are incredible. Well, the weather is horrible. <laughs> and I'm not where I plan to be, but look at that view. So my plan was to go back up to the top of Peristers Tour, right at that bit there. As I say, I have been there before but it was incredibly foggy and you couldn't see anything. You couldn't see the views. You couldn't see more than a couple of meters. So when I was up there, it was like looking down into this gray void. Looking at it again from here though, it's not directly above at all. So I don't know if you would actually get good views of the waterfall from there. In fact, you may not be able to see the waterfall from the top. I'm going to try and get back to the, uh, the main path and get 
back down. But I think I'll turn around and come go back the way I came, just because it gets me off the tops quicker. So there is a path that runs along the top there, on top of that ridge. And if I go left when I get to that path, uh, I'll pass by the wet stones. So I'm now on the, the ridge directly above Gravy Clough. Uh, this is called Robin Hood's Moss. Um, I haven't rejoined the main path yet. Uh, instead, I found a smaller track um, which does eventually meet up with the main path. So I'm going to take this because um, it's marginally quicker two positive things first of which I'm now on the path second of which the weather's cleared up it is still raining a little bit but visibility's a lot better than it was sky's getting brighter and I'm just coming up to the wet stones now which are definitely going to be wet today, I think. These are the wet stones. So I'm back at the nether hay path that I was on earlier. Although I turned off a little bit before this point. So although the rain stopped, I don't think it's going to be stopped for long. So I'm just going to head back the way I came. I do love these views. That's where I just was, the wet stones. That's the waterfall, Mabby Clough. I'm almost at the point where I turned off the path to go to the ruined shooting cabin, which is just down there. So this is about the point where I turned off earlier. Um, so this is kind of above Gravy Clough. The old ruin is down there out of sight. So I went down to that, which took a while. And then I followed the path a little bit that way. Took in the views, came back, had lunch at the ruin. And then I ended up going up there, which does look like a path from here, but I don't think it is one. And then I was walking along the very edge around the corner. Um, got some great views down into the waterfall. That's when the weather was particularly bad. Um, I then came up, eventually got to that ridge there, followed the ridge along. To the wet stones. And now I'm coming back down. And from here on in, I'll be retracing my steps. There is more bad weather on the way. I can see it. I over Kinder Scout right now, um, and that's the direction the wind is blowing from. So it'll be here before too long. So you can see it there. It's 
quite a good view towards Bleaklow, the edge of Bleaklow. You've got the Grinner stones there and the Barrow stones over there. Back at the Haybank path now. Weather is still dry, but it really doesn't look good in the distance. So back now on the track that goes around the reservoirs. This should be fairly sheltered from the worst of the weather. And it's fairly easy, fairly boring walking from here on in back to the car. There will be a lot more people around than there were this morning. Uh, this walk has been shorter than I originally intended it to be, but I've still enjoyed it. So it hasn't been as busy as I thought. I mean, I passed a fair number of people, but not as many as I expected. Uh, this path is closed off, these steps, the top path. So you've got to go around. I made it back at the car park just in time. It's just starting to rain again. I did enjoy that walk. It may not have been what I initially planned to do, but the plan was pretty open and flexible anyway. And uh, yeah, it was a good walk with some great, great views.